let's catch up on the fantastic builds in our 1.13 and 1.15 worlds. Why do you like cats? Because they deter creepers? E well, because I make lots of creeper farms. And these are just emergencies. Uh, yeah. Okay. Keep them around in case they go missing. Because they're kind of just sitting on chests in my creeper farms. Uh -huh. And they tend to go missing every once in a while. So Really? I keep, I keep them around, yeah. Do they like despawn or get killed? I think I think it's because if if I get hit close to the creeper farm, they mm -hmm. like teleport to you. Oh, yeah. And so I try not to get hit. Obviously, it's easy on my island because it is a mushroom island or was mm -hmm. a mushroom island, as you can see by half the island on yes. the map. This is really cool. Yeah, the Starbug so, is a spaceship. It's from uh, this is the it's from a, a TV show. It's from a TV, TV show, show from the 80s. Yeah. Actually, 90s. Oh. And I think they just made another series. It's an English sitcom. That's what British? my skin is, actually, too. Yeah, it's British. Okay. <laughs> so, so my skin is actually from that TV show. So here we are in a spaceship. Do you want to explain this map? And then we can... I can explain the start. So I started with the spaceship and I wanted, while I was building, I wanted farms. So I kind of just built farms all around and then mm -hmm. they looked kind of ugly. So I, I tried to make the land look like another planet. Because the Mushroom Island is kind of weird environment, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I see what you mean by the, the ground. <laughs> you mean boots. Do you have do you, do you have the boots? I didn't the soul bring boots? them with me. Oh no, I have soul speed on my on my regular boots. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So then it makes sense. I'm like, why walk around like a sucker? <laughs> and I can have to speed up my uh my production over here. And it, it adds to it. It helps. It's it was new to this uh update so i figured uh -huh. let's let's use the block yeah it's very creepy and you realize how slow you walk <laughs> right. when you end up when you go on the path it's kind of like counterintuitive uh, but the path the path is slow and beside the path on, is fast yeah it's faster <laughs> when you're wearing the boots on soul sand it's almost it's like being a having a beacon yeah well you do have plus beacon. i think i do have i have beacon too <laughs> So yeah, I just started with uh, basic farms. I wanted to make them look kind of sci-fi-ish, and I, uh -huh. I don't know. I, I figured domes were sci-fi-ish. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't That's decide nice. if I wanted to do colored domes or whatnot yet, and kind of just stayed glass. I like that because I like let, yeah. let's light in, and you would assume that that's important. Yeah, technically, <laughs> it would be important. Yeah. Got to this one you can't go for. What? <laughs> you only see the outside. No sales. Cactus. You got all the farms. Yeah, and there's uh there's a, a tunnel underground as well to connect all of them. Here, this is a a fox breeder, and he also uh, harvests berries. So here, cool. if you wanted to breed a fox, you could just breed them. A little baby would end up underneath. I didn't get any white foxes. The plan was to get the white foxes for that side. You can get white foxes? <laughs> you a little while. Yep. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, this was the original bee area. And this is the yeah. only bit of mushroom that I wanted to have left, but I didn't finish the island. This is natural mushroom. Uh -huh. <laughs> natural terrain. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, this is definitely a unique build. I haven't seen anything like this. It's really cool. And every dome does have a connection to there's an underground tunnel. Mm -hmm. And underneath all the farms, kind of the usefulness to them. I can show you here. Okay. You Oh, yeah. So here we have all the villagers for trading the pumpkin. All the pumpkin will end up here. Pumpkin and melon. Oh, interesting. So you have the farms feeding down to here. 
and then you can trade and them it, right yeah. here. Mm -hmm. And well, what are these levers for? Uh, there's a zombie. Like, so there's two rows of villagers right here. There's mm -hmm. one on each side, and there's a zombie in the middle, slightly lower. If I lower that, the villager gets turned into it, and then I can heal him, and he, his prices drop. Ah, okay. So it's open have... for the zombie. I mean, he can come up in any one of these when you open them. He's just wandering around on there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's he smells idea. them when he drops. <laughs> <laughs> this is the the underground tunnel. Uh, same idea for the the berries. Uh huh? Sell these guys berries. Get emeralds. That is so cool. You can grab all the berries. Will funnel to these two chests here at the top. A mushroom cow here. and made his way down. <laughs> <laughs> They're breeding and you didn't know it. Okay. And the, and the thing that I like about the Mushroom Island is I don't have to light anything. That's true. I can have like cool lighting without having mm -hmm. to worry about things spawning. Mm -hmm. So you can have more contrast too, which is nice. Yeah. And light and dark. This one, I don't know what this is. Okay, so this is above is a cactus farm and mm -hmm. I have it filtered so there's uh roughly like 10 hoppers going across the middle. Okay. And I think seven of them go to the cactus mm -hmm. here. So if I want green dye, and then I think three of them go to the bone meal to get turned into a like bone meal. So that's just from cactus, that bone meal. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. Uh, and then here I just grow. It's kind of like this is my dye area that you can farm. Uh -huh. And if Very you cool. need the flowers, just grab some bone meal. So that's below the, the cactus farm. Do you ma manually collect these or do you have like some kind of <laughs> deposit under here? Or the which the, fla the, the, the flower? The flowers. Yeah, that's only if I need. It's mm -hmm. grow on demand. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like the colors. <laughs> this one is slightly unfinished, but this is like my, my favorite project. Watch, that's a giant hole where the beacon's coming. Okay. So this is like a self-sustaining cooking area. Okay. Kelp farm goes up. I could show you the, the top after, but it so it re it refills itself. And it refills all of these furnaces that circle the room. Wow. The only thing I have to do is craft the, in the first chest here, the dried kelp, craft it into block form, and put it over here. So as long as this area is full, mm -hmm. like, it restocks the furnaces that cook the kelp, restocks all the furnaces in the room. Wow. So, so what are these down here? This is where it's growing. The kelp's growing. Everything oh. below is, there's three. If you look down the very middle, you can see there's mm -hmm. three of these farms that you're looking at stacked. Wow. So there's a lot, there is That's a lot, a of, lot of kelp, kelp being grown. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's amazing. Now, how long this did you build this? this? Well, it's not finished. You know, it's, it started with one kelp farm and just this little area here. Then I've added the furnaces. Then I added this thing to, for extra storage. And then mm -hmm. now, now I add the cart. Like it's obviously you can see from the back here. There's some sketchy mine cart on an angle. <laughs> like to get <laughs> the, the setup. I'll, when we go up, I'll show you it again. Like it's very compact. It's... That's cool. I like compact farms. I like challenging myself with putting, making things fit into a certain spot. And that's why I like the spaceship because it's like, it's tiny. Mm -hmm. And how, how much can I fit in it that's, that works. <laughs> I like this combination sort of industrial high tech spaceship. Yeah. This is very high tech. You have to swim up. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so if we go to the kelp farm, 
if you watch it kind of enough, you can see what's going on. There's a cart filling mm -hmm. the dr like the, the kelp, and then there's a cart that runs on the inside track that you probably can't see that's filling up the fuel. There's a lot of a lot of They're chess hoppers and, and cookers. Mm -hmm. And those carts are just going down there and picking up stuff and bringing it up here, is that right? Yeah. So if if you stand on my dirt block, you can kind of get a better idea of what because you'll see two two carts. So the inside track is filling fuel, mm -hmm. and then the outside top track is filling the stuff the kelp that I'm it's cooking. But it isn't oh oh, oh I see. Oh, so it's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. This it's is very sustainable. This is my, my, yeah, it's very sustainable. <laughs> it actually <laughs> builds up. If it builds up, I have a fifth cooker here mm -hmm. that I turn on for an emergency, and that usually stops the, the backup. Because mm -hmm. sometimes the three farms go faster. They collect more kelp than it can cook. Mm -hmm. And that's when you just turn on the fifth. Cool. I, I was proud of this one because I kind of designed it myself. Like it was just yeah. a mess. <laughs> <laughs> and then some farms that don't have anything. There's a little bamboo farm here, per purple farm over there that don't really have mm -hmm. purposes other than add color. This farm, again, just add color. I was going to decorate it a little more. I have to sleep. <laughs> You're going to sleep on this island. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's safe. We're just dark. Amy. We're recording. You know, natural light and all that. Oh, yeah. Fair <laughs> enough. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, have you figured out an efficient way to farm this, these things, these trees? Not really. I, no, I, I think there's there's a tree farm you can build. I don't like any farms that rely on TNT. I don't like using on our server. <laughs> Tells us too much lag. Hence the, yeah, you get not no, you get a hiccup and your farm is blown up. Mm, yeah, they're not as reliable. I, yeah, I, I can't count how many times Bash blew up the concrete farm just oh, yeah? because like a little, just a little hiccup in uh, connection and. Uh huh. TNT goes off too soon or too late. <laughs> and it blows up all so, that work that you've done. I love this, this iron one is, farm design. It's so compact. It's so simple and it yeah, and it does does the job. I think we should put these all over the server. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently it still works. So Yeah. It's elegant. Gunpowder farm is just so much gunpowder. Uh, there's not really a safe way to the bottom there. of it. You know, this looks like the yeah. spaceship landing pad, or like a helicopter Kinda does. landing pad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I did I did it so the creeper face is on the map. So this is my storage room. It's taken inspiration from Exuma storage. Uh -huh. I think in his season seven, kind of color and with barrels. And I just use so uh, wherever there's something that I have a lot of. So if you go to mycelium over here, you can see I'll store the extra in shulkers. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah, I if you click on, too. just yeah. so you can use the smaller storage, because yeah. normally I would do this with double chests, but right. the barrels do look nice. The barrels do look nice, and I've just started doing this kind of in my regular chests and everything. But it's true you can use it as more compact storage. The ship is bigger on the inside. Yeah, it looks <laughs> bigger on the... Like, I, I, I managed to fit things in. So this is, like, the most important of my villagers that I managed to ah, keep yes. here. So uh -huh. you got the mending guy, the the fortune. This is just one of all the other random guys, if I need stuff. Here... I managed to squeeze in the smallest enchanting room you could have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very 
very nice. With an emergency exit hatch. Ah, uh, yeah, gotta have that. <laughs> you, you can't see it from the outside, which is good. That's about it for my That's island. Cool. I like this. It's like the aliens landed and in a strange environment, so immediately they had to make all these, um, all this production for themselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Captured one of the aliens over here too. This was that. W this was the plan: is to have this uh, these yeah. guys roaming around. Wow. Okay, me. Bye. <laughs> Bye.